Well, recently we caught up with the drummer from the Grateful Dead, Mickey Hart. That's right. You can check out his new art passion at Wentworth Gallery, and we got a sneak peek. We're joined by three-time Grammy Award-winning artist and legendary drummer with the Grateful Dead, Mickey Hart. His artwork is showcased at Wentworth Gallery at Westfield Montgomery Mall and Tyson's Galleria. Welcome to Great Day. Welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning. Honored to have you here. We always uh, I love seeing musicians that have taken that artistry and put it onto canvas or, or, or you know, presenting these beautiful pieces. How would you describe your art and kind of how you come up with all of this? Well, these are extensions of my music. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's visualizations of the sound. It's sort of like, it's, uh, it's, it started as a hobby. Right. And got a little out of hand. <laughs> so, of course, skeletons are us, you know. Yeah. Great, being the Grateful Dead, we can't get a, kind of get away from it. And this is a piece of, that I, I painted in gouache, which is gum Arabic based. It's a skeleton that's, it has its muscle fiber, but it lives in both worlds, both in the dead and the living. Skeleton has his uh, xylophone made out of his uh, rib cage. Yeah. So he's called a psycho pump, a uh, guide of a soul <laughs> to the other side. Okay. Wow, that's what this I love, is. we have the artist here explaining it. So a music journalist said, you've been taking dead heads to space for years, <laughs> but now you're blending the universe with your art and your music. Yeah. How do you use percussion to create these amazing designs? Well, it's all about vibra vibrations. The whole universe is about vibrations. We're about vibrations, and so is this. And what I do is after I, um, I pour these mediums, this is a painted medium, but most of them are poured. So you're just kind of pouring it into a puddle and then with the vibrations and the percussion yeah, making it yeah kind of you form. could say it okay I, I don't think of it as puddles no i couldn't think of the right word though but yeah, i like you know, no, a good description tell no, us about this no artwork these are extraordinary here. moments no, of yeah. artistic <laughs> Okay, this is a drum head that I played. A, it is a marvelous piece of artwork. I know, That's but for I sure. will remember the puddles. Yes. I will not step in my own puddles. <laughs> so this one here, for instance, is a, a drum head I played, and I, it is a poured medium, and, and I used uh, heat, but the, in this particular case, to get the crevasses in him. Uh, that one, again, is all about the rhythm, no beginnings and no endings, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see rivers, trees, animals, yes. uh, ice this one caps. This really speaks to my soul. It's so beautiful, as is all of your artwork. And people can oh, thank actually you. come and own a piece of this vibration, <laughs> right? Well, it is, you know. <laughs> it, it, that's, that's about, it just comes right down to, uh, to vibrations, you know. That's what life is all about. And that's what these pictures, uh, these canvases and these creations are all about, about the vibrations. Uh, I always say it's the rhythm, stupid. <laughs> And so I, this is the rhythm, stupid, you know. So that's what this is all about. So you're you're on tour with your artwork, um, and you're continuing to create great pieces. But you're also back on tour with Dead and Company, right? You guys are are going to play the Woodstock event coming up in August. So they say. So yes, they indeed. say. <laughs> Go figure. But we played the first one, and it was so horrible. We just completely bombed. So. We were coming to uh, this this Woodstock, you know, to make it all right, you know, finish it up right. You know, we will play good at this. Well, Woodstock. Mr. Hart, it wasn't that bad because you got deadheads all over the world. <laughs> Listen, I tell you what, I, right, I, I left the stage and I thought it was the worst. It was suicidal. And I asked Garcia. I said, "Oh, is it bad for you as it was for me?" He said, "Yeah, it was really bad, but don't worry, it won't affect our career." <laughs> <laughs> as if we had a career and everything to affect. And so, yeah, so that was the first Woodstock. It was, uh, but this Woodstock, I think we've learned how to play. It took 50 years, but I think we now finally know how to play our <laughs> instruments. <laughs> and it just, it. you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? Turtle in the hair, absolutely. There you go. We are the turtles. One sure. last question. How do we create good vibration in our lives besides going to see your work at Wentworth? Well, again, if you see the world and in vibratory and rhythmic terms, you could uh, relationships between people. That you try to make the best relationships you possibly can. Be in time, being a rhythm. And when it's not right, you adjust your rhythm. And love is a good rhythm. Mm -hmm. War is a bad rhythm, mm -hmm. for instance. Or good relationships at home with your children, your wife, your dog, friends, all of that. That's rhythmic. 
So that's how I see the world, and that's what these things are all about. They're just little creations, rhythmic little uh, puddles. puddles. Little puddles. Yeah. <laughs> Words of little wisdom puddles. from a legend, Mickey Hart. Thank you so much, and best of luck with your art Thank and you. your music. Thank you for asking. And in the universe. Appreciate it.